man what's really good though family tree chase listen the sun is out tonight let me just see let me see let me see sun oh oh yeah it's gleaming all right what's really good family tree listen i've got a nice live stream in store for you today let me know if you're in the building scholar Squado! <laughs> Let me know if you're here with me, family. Just please hit the like button straight away. Scholar gang, gang, gang. Fifth Avenue, fill in the building. Yeah, buddy. So you know what, family tree. Um, Again, I'm going to say, please, tell a friend to tell a friend. It's going to get really heated. It's going to get really excited. I've got several shows lined up for you guys today. Trust me. I'm going ham on everybody all right so um please join us yeah join us for this okay i need you to join us for this so um i don't know if you lot have been um up to date with what's been going on we've had the tommy robinson um fiasco shouts out to tommy robinson and the tommy robinson supporters shouts out to ali dawa and the ali dawa supporters shouts out to miami the jab the hijab v supporters <laughs> so you already know yeah there was a madness that took place freedom of speech um day um ali dawa mohammed hijab came down and um you know unfortunately it took a turn for the worst um there was some type of provocation and there was a resulted um you know uh, type of brawl that took place between um mohammed hijab and a few um elderly gentlemen they look like old age pensioners but it, you know it looked like a brawl that took place and of course there was a lot of scuffling in the crowd which the police was holding back um but yeah very very interesting very exciting and all sorts yeah um ali dawa unfortunately didn't get to have his um day to spew his um idea of freedom of speech so you know we missed that out we missed that out but we can't wait to hear ali dawa come to speaker's corner and really explain himself but today i'm <laughs> ali dawa is gonna get a little bit of fire from me still all right and the reason why ali dawa is gonna get a bit of fire from me is this furthermore furthermore should i tell you guys or should i play it to you which one would you rather me do tell you guys or play it to you guys yeah so basically ali dawa um was caught on camera um blatantly openly yeah being racist being racist utilizing racial slurs utilizing racial hatred utilizing hate speech utilizing racial slurs derogatory slurs to label two black men now i don't know about you guys yeah but for me one um i think yeah yeah the one where ali dawa was in the car with that dude yes that one that one yeah that one i'm gonna play it soon yeah but i want you guys yeah, as black people yeah to wake the hell up i want to speak to black people right now because my english folks they're woke they're woke right it's just some black people are still sleeping all right and i want you guys to wake the hell up because you have these individuals yeah that are so blatantly blatantly being racist yeah and i'm not seeing nobody standing up and speaking out on these things and it seems as though black people were in some type of abusive relationship where all this abuse is taking place yeah and we're just taking it like it's nothing and what i've come to realize is this okay especially with these um really arrogant and ignorant muslims yeah so I'm not talking about all Muslims, I'm talking about these really arrogant and ignorant, zealous, dawa type Muslims, yeah? Soon as you critique them or their ideology and you're an intelligent black man, the first, first comeback they have is to use racial slurs. And that lets me know, yeah? what's going down deep inside of their hearts that's what lets me know when people are talking about racism 
I keep my mouth quiet. I'm like, ah, boy, you know, you know, I, I need something a bit more solid than that. But when people are utilizing it so blatantly, yeah, as soon as you criticize them, it's like, you could, you know the way it's there? They want to say the N-word so bad. Like, you, mm, who do you think you are, you know, standing up for yourself? Who do you think you are criticizing us? Know your place. Know your place. That's what they really want to say. Trust me on this. That's what they really want to say. And they're going to claim after this year, they're always going to claim ignorance. Oh, I didn't know that it was offensive. I didn't know it was offensive. Pre-game, real quickly, pre-game. Intelligent black men. Pre-game. Now you have, you have three, four intelligent... There's a few intelligent black men, yeah, at Speaker's Corner. But I'm going to just name a few. You've got um, Gary. You've got Sarah. You've got Big Bro. Yeah? You've got myself. Yeah, like obviously you got Gabs and so forth yeah, and the rest of them yeah. But I'm not talking about them right now. I'm just talking about us three in particular, us four in particular: Gary, Sarah, Big Bro, myself. These four individuals. These four individuals yeah, us four individuals yeah. We speak openly. We don't cower. We don't hide. We're we're, we're cool. We'll criticize you all day long. We'll criticize your religion, we'll criticize your ideology, we'll criticize your politics, we'll criticize you in terms of your behavior and your actions all day long. That's that's what we do. Like, I for one, I'm a social commenta a commentator. I will criticize you. No problem. Okay? I will criticize you all day long. But then I realized, yeah, Gary was criticizing Adnan Rashid. And what happened in the background? One of these Jahil, ignorant, arrogant, Muslims called him a monkey They feel no way about it, you know, they feel no way about it in calling a black man a monkey Strike one at speaker's corner Strike two at speaker's corner is this we've got um, you know the uncle Omar or Mick dad Yeah, real name Mick dad. Yeah, you got him for almost a straight year You've heard him call me derogatory names. All because, guess what? I would not accept Islam from him. All because, I, that, that's really the real reason. You know, you're so intelligent. You know so much about Islam. 90% of Arab, of Muslims, you, you know more than them. But yet you still won't accept Islam. You kuffar, you this, you black, you black kafir. You monkey, you baboon. You house, N-I-G-G-E-R. You dirty, filthy, N-I-G-G-E-R. This is all caught on camera. You blacks, yeah, are, 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 are less than humans or, or not humans. You've, he's, he's even said it yes on camera. Even though he's been removed from Black Dunya's channel. He said, yes, I said these things. He even repeated these things over and again. So you lot have no excuses. Oh, no, I didn't hear. Oh, no, I didn't. No, you lot heard and seen it. With your own two eyes, with your own two ears, you don't have no more excuses. This is why I'm so happy. You have no more excuses. Where, oh no, maybe he, no, 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 no. He kept saying it over and over again. So you have strike two of somebody, yeah? As soon as you criticize Islam or criticize them, yeah? They're going to be racist. Then you have Mohammed Hijab, okay? Calling black people, again, coons and house Negroes and Uncle Tom's. Right? You've seen him, right? Soon as black people, so he's talking about Sarah, Big Bro, myself, and then he labeled all Kemets. All basically black people, Kemets, you Kemets, yeah? You Kemets. And you don't see racial stereotyping, okay? You don't even see racial stereotyping. Oh no, I was talking about Gary. Oh no, I was talking about Big Bro. Not once have you heard Big Bro or Gary yeah, say, yeah, I'm Kemetic. Oh yeah, I, I hold on to anything. No, none of them said anything like that. But no, let's label them. They're all Kemets. Cool. They're all Kemets. They're all blacks. Yep. Label them that. Yep. They all think that uh, white people are genetically inferior. Genetically, what was it? G genetically evil or something. Genetically, I was like, rotted. What type of madness? Nobody you've heard say these things. And then you wanted to label on us. So I put our lives in danger. 
because you you knew that all these you know so-called white people were coming down yeah tommy robinson supports coming down and he tried to just smear us to make us look racist no you were the one racist you were the one using uncle tom's uh house negroes and coons these are all racist terms all racial racist slurs i've explained that to you hundreds of times on my videos you look and go back and check my videos it's all there for, for the whole public to see that was a warning your post Mohammed Ajab, got flagged they got reported they got taken down i'm pretty sure of instagram and facebook but you guys still don't learn right you guys still choose like nope i i'm, I'm not learning i'm not learning at all all right cool and now Ali Dawa. So you know, look, look, that's one, two, three. That's three strikes. You're out already. Okay? You're out. You're actually out of the game. Alright? Now the fourth person now, Ali Dawa. I expected more from Ali Dawa. 100 percent I never expected this, yeah. Or these types of words, yeah, to come out of Ali Dawa's mouth. But when push comes to shove, <laughs> when push comes to shove, your true colours come out. Right? Your true colors come out. Family Tree, if you are loving Times TV and you want to hear what Ali Dawa had to say, yeah, please hit the like button right now. If you haven't already hit the subscribe button, I don't know what the hell you're waiting for, family, yeah? Hit the subscribe button, show the love and show the support. Of course, share this with your friends and family, yeah? Now, I'm going to tell, I'm going to say this, yeah? He said exactly what Sadiq Khan said. This is what they both had in common. All right? This is what they both have in common. I'm going to do this. I'm going to play Sadiq Khan's words first. Sadiq Khan, yeah, said this. Let me show you. Let me just show you real quickly, yeah? This is in 2009. They pulled him up for this still, yeah? Here we go. Real quickly. And look, this is the, um, you know, 56,000 views, I believe. And this is the tile. So if you don't want to go and check this yourself, you can. All right? So let's just quickly play what Sadiq Khan said. The point is, is that you can't just pick and choose who you speak to. You can't just speak to uh, Uncle Tom. You can't just speak to people who will say what you want to, what, what you want them to hear. But I... All right. So that's Sadiq Khan. Sadiq Khan, yeah. He says, you know, you can't just speak to. Da -da 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 -da. I can't just speak to Uncle Tom's. All right, Sadiq Khan. All right, Sadiq Khan. You want to use racial slurs Now I'm not saying this yeah But guess what Guess what Guess what happened to him Let me do this I'm actually going to show you What happened to Sadiq Khan Yeah After the footage emerges Let's show you this So this is what happened Sadiq Khan on the fire After footage emerges Of him using derogatory terms To describe fellow Muslims Yeah Alright It says here that um, Labour has been embroiled in a fresh controversy after it merged. It's um, it merged that it's mayoral. Wow, what's going on? What's going on? It's mayoral candidate Sadiq Khan used a slur against fellow Muslims while appearing on Iranian television in 2009. Mr. Khan used the term Uncle Tom to describe certain members of the Muslim community, a derogative term for a member of an oppressed minority who supposedly cho chooses to be subservient to their oppressors. Okay, it comes as the chief rabbi Ifray Mervis said Labour had a severe problem with anti Semitism that would get worse if the party inquires into the issue was used as a sticking plaster to placate blah 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 so we already know yeah this term is a derogatory term yeah furthermore it's a racial term it's a racial derogatory term all right so that was from the independent right guess what the um the what's call it says this, this is what uh, the Telegraph says, yeah? Telegraph says, Sadiq Khan was accused of being unfit to become London's next mayoral after footage emerged of him describing moderate Muslims of, of being Uncle Tom's, okay? Labour is, is under fresh pressure over its handling of racism and anti-Semitism in the party admits revelations its London mayoral candidate used a racial slur, okay? Right there, yeah? It's a racial slur. All right, I'm just letting you guys know. I can tell you guys all day long it's a racial slur, which I have been telling you guys. Yeah, 
I, I will even go to another website that tells you that using these terms, yeah, black people in America, we used to use these terms against each other. Look, for example, since Harriet uh, Beecher Stowe's uh, scandalous novel, Uncle Tom's Cabin, uh, the phrase Uncle Tom has functioned as a racial hate speech. Racial hate speech. And you know who it comes from mostly? From mouths of black Americans against other black Americans. All right? Self-hate at its finest. So we realize that it's a racial slur, right? I don't think anybody has a problem with realizing, yeah? Uncle Tom is just as bad as saying coon. Uncle Tom is just as bad as saying house Negro. Uncle Tom is just as bad as saying house N-I-G-G-E-R. Uncle Tom is just as bad as... <laughs> Uncle Tom, yeah, is just as bad, yeah, as saying, yeah, N-I-G-G-E-R. Nobody, nobody can deny that. The Independent knows this, the Daily Mail knows this, the Telegraph knows this, um, you know, universities know this, um, you know, everybody knows this, right? All right, cool. All right, cool. Now, what does Ali Dawa um, find fit to do? What does he find fit to do? Look at this. Sorry. Your desperation, you guys are official Uncle Tons. Yeah, I'm telling you, if Tommy Robinson comes... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, what did he say? Don't you run their mouth and try to get aggressive and fight. Hold on, what does he say? If you want to go down that route, at least let's do it in the legal way. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, so, there you go, so your desperation, you guys are official Uncle Tom's. Yeah, I'm telling you, there you go, so your desperation, you guys are official Uncle Tom's. Okay. Yeah, I'm telling okay. you, if Tommy Robinson comes out, mm. yeah, which he should have apologized for what he did for cutting and cancelling my speech, and I know on purpose he left us out there to be attacked, yeah? Okay. Mm. Tell us. If Tommy Robinson came and said, look guys, you know what? And I doubt he would, yeah? If, un unless he's under pressure. Mm. I said, you know what? I, I made a mistake. I apologized to, apologize to Ali and this, that. Mm. These guys, these Uncle Toms will come out and say, no, T Tommy was right. That's how much. You're Uncle Tom with a capital T. Uncle Tom. you got to emphasize on the t t Tom, yeah? So anyways, that's like now with Unna. So what I'm gonna say is, <laughs> so um, so yeah, um, yeah, 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 Ali Dawa, yeah, and these two black individuals, yeah, you're referring to, right? You see the way if you watch the whole video, yeah, you see he says, I'm not referring, you know, he knows who he's referring to. He even gives the definition, yeah, of an Uncle Tom right at the beginning. Just go to the four minute mark, yeah, watch it from there, all right? He now says, yeah, you know, nope, you know, these people criticized us, you know, Steve, Rob, Raj, okay, these ones I'm not talking about. But these other two individuals, let's not mention their names though, let's not mention their names, yeah, we don't want to mention their names. So I'm not going to say who these individuals are, okay, but go back on YouTube and just, you know, type in, you know, Mohammed Hijab, Ali Dawa, you know, fight or something along those lines, yeah, and see who done criticisms and reviews of it. And the certain terms that was utilized, or the words and the phraseologies that were utilized, yeah? Just see whose videos, yeah, he is referring to. Who are these two black guys that he's referring to? That's what I want you guys to know. So realize, yeah, the first thing that these guys can do is not even critique, not even critique the words that are being stated in the videos. Not even critique the things that are being stated in the videos. Not even critique, um, you know, whether, you know, there is sympathy or whatever the case is, yeah? Nothing like that. It's the first thing to do is to be racist. The first point of protocol, yeah, is to first look at their skin complexion, look at their racial identity or their ethnic identity, okay? And find the most um derogatory term to apply to them based upon their skin complexion based upon their her um herit uh what's the word heredity heredity i believe it's that their heritage let us use that and let us label them as such let us label them as such and you have a lot of these people, yeah, Asians, Arabs, like all these different types of Muslims, yeah, in the in the comment section, using terms like Uncle Tom's, House Negroes, Coons, 
um what's it called something like something zingy i saw i saw something zingy with inside of the comments you can just scroll back and look into the side of their comments they made yeah and i'm like wow they're even utilizing now arabic slurs yeah to to label um, us as black people but my black muslims yeah we'll, we'll see them no there's nothing wrong about it yes you're an uncle tom callum yes you're an uncle tom sarah yes yes and i'm like whoa whoa this is how messed up you are this is how messed up you are but let's just wait for a white man to come white man okay an englishman to come and start calling um you know uh i don't know calling i don't know call black people or arabs no let's say they're calling arabs you sand m o n k k e y you know they use those those terms there in it yeah so you know you sand da -da 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 -da. you this da, da da and so forth yeah you see how fast these people stand up no you can't do that you're racist you're racist we won't stand for it we won't stand for it you would do it quickly to do that but for your own black selves as a collective i'm talking as a race there ain't no uproar there ain't no uproar of these people at speaker's corner these dour fools yeah that are coming out and using racial slurs you lot are there still supporting them it's not until yeah your mother is called the n-word right it's not until your mother is called the n-word furthermore do me this do me this favor I want you guys, yeah, to play back some of these um, racial slurs, yeah, that these dour fools, yeah, have been making. Play it back, yeah, not to your mother, but play it to your grandmother or grandfather's generation. P play it back to them and see how they react. And realize, yeah, that there's something wrong with you. Is there something deeply wrong with you if you are not feeling that same um, reaction? You have lost all connections with your ancestors. You've lost all connection with your history. You've lost all connection with your heritage. You don't know yourself. Know yourself, black man. You don't know yourself. And that's what's, that's what's infuriating me. I couldn't care less about Ali Dawa, Mohammed Hijab, yeah? Adnan Rashid's and, and all of these other ones, yeah? And, and, and what's that name? Uh, Mick Dad guy. Yeah? I couldn't care less of all of them. I expect it from them. I really... No, 100%. I don't think you understand. I expect it from them. I do not expect anything less. I've studied these individuals. I know who they are. I know what they are. You think what I'm saying? I know who and what they are. So I do not expect nothing better from them. I know they've been poisoned with this disease already. I really fully well comprehend it. The people that I'm, I'm so upset with yeah, and shocked at is my other fellow black men. My other fellow... Um, people of African heritage my people who are descendants of enslaved Africans my people who are descendants of enslaved and colonized Africans It's you guys yeah, I'm disappointed in Because us we have something called yeah, a, a, um, a cultural consciousness We have a cultural consciousness Where if something happens yeah, to one of us it feels as though it's happened to us ourselves. Well, I hope it does. I hope it does. When something happens in America, trust me, over here in the UK, yeah, we don't have police brutality yeah, as America. We really don't, yeah? I know you can say, yeah, we do have police brutality, but not to the extent of that. Not to the extent of, of people are being shut down and killed and whatever the case is. You don't have that. But when we see that, we feel that pain. When we see that, we feel that pain. When we see somebody like Barack Obama coming into um, presidency, we feel the joy, right? We all feel that. We have something, yeah, collective consciousness where we all feel together. We all understand, yeah, maybe even a basic level, we all understand, yeah, what slavery was. We all understand, yeah, even though our, our immediate ancestors may not be involved in slavery, but we all understand what transpired. We all store those cultural memories we all store it and to see and to realize and to know how black people were institutionally enslaved and psychologically 
deprived, humiliated, beaten, battered, raped and tortured to the point they actually acquired a mass Willie Lynch syndrome. They all acquired a Stockholm syndrome. And the only way that they can survive was to be submissive. That's the only way some of these individuals could survive was to be submissive. Some of them saw their fathers being beaten and whipped and killed, hanged, literally put up in flames to induce this psychological disease that's still plaguing us to this very day. It's still plaguing, like, listen, there's something called epigenetics, yeah? Epigenetics. Where something that happened to your ancestors can still have an effect on you today. Something that happened to your mother and father can still have an effect on you today. Something that happened to your great grandmothers and fathers here can still have an effect on you today. And you've got these individuals that fully well know what this term means. They're not ignorant about it. But they find it. Nope. It's halal. It's okay. We can use these sickening really sickening terms really sickening terms against a fellow or another human being let alone a black man it's sad it's sad so anyways family um you know what before i continue any further yeah there's one thing yeah that sadiq khan has done which ali dawa has yet to do and this is it right here this is what Sadiq Khan did. Um, I, then I suppose it becomes the, the latest chapter in the campaign the tactics that you've just described. This Uncle Tom's phrase. This in the new. Look at that, Sadiq Khan. Sorry, under fire for racist Uncle Tom phrase. So this is LBC. LBC knows it's racist, right? Cool. Newspapers today. People not familiar with it. It's an interview you gave in 2009, which I've now read the full transcript of. And you were describing yourself. Yeah, I mean, I think the context matters. Well, firstly, I, I regret using the phrase because it, because it, it, did it's you understood exactly bad. what it meant? Yeah, I did, and I do. Uh, the, the context was, and I. And I okay. So yeah. So yeah. Oh no, sorry, it wasn't even finished. Sorry, it wasn't even finished. Sorry, one second. Did you understand exactly what it meant? Yeah, I did, and I do. Uh, the context was, and I, and I do regret using the phrase, and I'm sorry. But the context is this: I was like, okay. So yeah. Sadiq Khan, yeah, is actually sorry for calling other individuals, yeah, Uncle Tom. He fully admitted it's a derogatory term. It fully admitted he knows what it implies and so forth. And he fully had to take it back and tell you he's wrong for it and he's sorry for using that term. I wonder, is Ali Dawa half the man that Sadiq Khan is? Is Ali Dawa even sorry for utilizing this word? Is Ali Dawa a responsible human being yeah that realizes this doesn't just affect the two people that your name call it but it affects your black Muslim brothers number one it affects your black Muslim brothers that are screwed on they've got that light inside of them it affects them okay and it also affects the rest of the African slash black population it affects those individuals that have been affected by slavery. I wonder, I wonder, would he do the good thing and apologize for his statement? Or would he just continue being wrong and strong? Doesn't he know you can get prosecuted for that? You don't know you can get prosecuted for that? You didn't know that? Chai. Wow. These people are just blatantly just being racist nowadays. Like it's nothing. Like it's absolutely nothing absolutely nothing and look at this and he actually has the audacity yeah to now go on to his twitter two hours ago what, what does he say okay if your right to freedom of hate speech is going to cause more innocent people to die then you and your freedom of hate speech can go to hell listen Ali Dawa 
your freedom of speech has amounted to hate speech your freedom of speech has amounted to hate speech I think your freedom of speech which is hate speech should go to hell that's what I think that's what I think because on behalf of not just my ancestors that went through slavery and colonization but on behalf of every every descendant of enslaved and colonized Africans and those people who are still being enslaved to this very day both African Europeans Asians I believe are going through some slavery as well yeah and any any other individuals yeah that's going through slavery now okay because there is these um sexual uh slavery that's going on as well there's all different types of slavery where where young girls are being sold in slavery to this very day european girls are being sold into slavery to this very day on behalf of all of them your free speech which amounts to hate speech can go to f hell yeah you're lucky i'm so adverse here to swearing i so badly want to swear at you right now but you can go to f hell taking the bloody piss actually taking the bloody piss anyways family yeah talk to me yeah and i want you guys to share this video please yeah share this video i see you lot saying noel yeah shout out to noel um steve is i mean rob's in the building shout out to you rob you know so sarah garvey's in the building so go films Scala. yo in the building you know so all of you guys man salute to you guys yeah love did you watch the video I emailed you? I believe so. I believe so. You, I think you emailed me two videos. But yeah, I watched them. Alright. Um, kind of, trust me. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, yo, run it for another 10 minutes. Ah, quiet. What about a show about this past event with a few of us on this panel? Yeah, yeah. We can do that, man. Hopefully tonight then. Tonight? Yeah, because it's kind of it's kind of tricky right now. Um... Trust me, I know. They hate us. Trust me. Uh, did Tommy Robbins have any black African people on stage for uh, Day of Freedom? Um, as far as I, I know, no. Did he invite um, black African people to come onto the stage? As far as I know, yes. Okay? As far as I know, they invited um, you know, certain individuals within inside of the black community to come on. Um, unfortunately, um, you know, a few of us decided otherwise. So, that's as far as I know. But um, yeah, no, 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 yeah, yeah, your one's not going through step spamming anymore. Um, allied atheist, you're good. All right, cool. Let me see. So yeah, man, Red Pill Phil, Janai English, and um, we're there. Yeah, yeah, man, Red Pill Phil, shouts out to you, Janai English. Oh yeah, yeah, girl. Yeah, man, you do your thing. You you both do your thing. Like you'll go in still. Um. Trust me, trust me, they, yeah, man, they, that's what they're there for. They're all trying to block freedom of speech. They don't believe in freedom of speech, full stop, okay? They only believe in the freedom of speech that benefits them and their agenda. But anything else, hell no. Completely against freedom of speech. Um, so, yeah, um, family, what, what else I'm going to do Yeah, I actually want to do another video soon, all right? I want to do another video soon. And my next video, yeah, I'm going to have to just do a quick little... A rant on somebody else yeah that's been calling me out for the longest time but i haven't really you know like you know when somebody's so irrelevant yeah and they just you don't even have any time for them but they're just going on and on and on on and on and on and on and on and on and on you might as well just give them that little bit of shine and attention that they so badly want so i'm going to give them that shine attention that they want so hold tight yeah so hopefully soon you're going to get a nice little new video from me as well so family, I'm going to be signing out now. Please, yeah, hit the like button. Okay, if you haven't already hit the like button, um, show me your support. If you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button so you get updated when all the new shows are going out. And for those of you guys yeah, who've donated, I've seen that there's a super chat there. So thank you um, for donating and supporting us. Trust me, yeah, I'm telling you guys now, every little support that you lot offer, it goes a very, very long way. It takes the burden off myself, yeah? 
I'm gonna be real with you. It takes a lot of burden out of, out of my hands, all right? The amount of money that I'm just flinging out everywhere to make sure everything is just running smoothly, like you lot literally help to free up my own expenses, yeah, by donating and supporting. Trust me on that. And if you guys, yeah, would like to donate your time, yeah, and I don't know, help out with some editing, help out with uh, anything else that you think can benefit Titans TV, please, yeah, help me out, yeah? I'm actually asking for your help, okay? It doesn't need to be monetary, but if you lot could promote the shows, that's a form of helping, yeah? If you look and do something integral, that's a form of helping. If you look and moderate um, on here, that's a form of helping, that's a form of supporting, trust me. So thank you guys who love us and love what we do and keep the, um, the support flowing. And um, salute to you guys who are here just to hate. Like, like, trust me, you don't realize, yeah? You lot hate the most. Like some of you guys, you lot are subscribed to this channel okay or you come onto this channel just to drop like dislikes and just to drop like hateful comments and all those things there yeah what you don't realize yeah you're actually helping us yeah so thank you guys yeah that are still supporting us by giving us hate yeah i've already told you guys already yeah hate is another form of worship yeah like you're actually supporting us so thank you for your hate because you're actually helping us to grow and to prosper so salute to the haters. Oh man. Young, 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 young Cali, baby. Yeah. <laughs>